All right, what I'll show you how to do is how to form an equation from a hyperbola. And the types of hyperbola we're going to be doing are called rectangular hyperbola, which have a general form to them. And the general form of rectangular hyperbola, uh, y equals a over x minus c plus b. And these two things tell us something. Uh, these two constants tell us what the asymptotes are. x equals c is the vertical asymptote. So if uh, c is 4, then x equals 4 is the vertical asymptote. And b is the horizontal asymptote. So all the ones we're going to do today <coughs> are going to follow this general form here. Also, in our graph, the asymptotes are going to be given, and a point on the curve is going to be given as well. And the main thing in this, like the exponentials one, exponential graphs we did earlier, is we're going to be solving for that coefficient up there. So let's look at our first example. First thing we're going to do is to look at our two asymptotes. And our two asymptotes here, vertical one goes through 4, and the horizontal one goes through 3. <coughs> so those two we plug into the general form, and we're going to solve for A. Okay. So the vertical asymptote goes there, horizontal asymptote goes there. Now we pick a point on the curve, this one, and substitute that in for x and y. So remember this point right there represents x, y. Plug 5 in for x and 6 in for y to solve for that coefficient, and then we rewrite the equation. So 6 equals a over, I think, way 4, and that will simplify nicely. Um, 5 over 4 gives me 1, or just a. And so I get a pretty simple equation of just 6 equals a plus 3. So that must mean that a equals 3. And I take that constant, substitute it back into my equation, and rewrite it. So y equals 3 over x minus 4 plus 3. So really the main thing I'm solving for on these, figuring out, is that constant up there of a. Okay? So we'll do another example. Oh, I should also point out, when when this value up here is a positive number, such as 3 or 2 or anything anything positive, our two curves are going to be connected by a positive gradient. And if our a is negative, which our next example is, our two curves will be connected by a negative gradient. So let's look at our next example. Okay. For this example, my, my vertical asymptote isn't changing. It's, it's still just the y-axis. But my horizontal asymptote is going up to 5. So what that means is this, this will just be 0 down here. And get y equals a, x take away 0. And this is the positive 5. Now you don't really need to do that step because what you just get is uh, y equals a over x plus 5. And that's what it looks like if there's no change in the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote didn't move, which is the y-axis. Uh, same thing as before. Substitute these values in for x and y. And remember, the first value is x, the second value is y. And solve for a. So I'd get 6 equals a over negative 7 plus 5. Uh, subtract 5 from that side, and I get 1 equals a over negative 7. Uh, multiply negative 7 to the other side, and I get negative 7 equals a. Okay, and like I said, if the a is negative, that means they're going to be connected by a negative gradient. And now we take the uh, value of a and substitute it back into our formula. Okay, so just looking at this equation, uh, this bottom part down here tells us there's no change in vertical asymptote. Uh, the negative value up here tells us that uh, curves are connected by a negative gradient. This value right here tells me 
that the horizontal asymptote has gone up five more units. Okay, let's look at one more example, and then we'll finish off here. Uh, this guy right here, our, our horizontal asymptote hasn't changed. So our horizontal asymptote is still that x-axis. What has changed is the vertical asymptote has shifted over to negative 5. That should be negative 5. And let's take a look at what happens here. Write my general form of the rectangular hyperbola. y equals a over x minus c plus b. This is going to be 0 because there's no, um, no horizontal change here. So I'm going to solve for a. And here, this is x minus c. So this is x minus a negative 5, which will turn into, turn into x plus 5. And this one's going to be 0 because the horizontal asymptote hasn't, hasn't budged, hasn't moved. It's still the x-axis. So I'll clean this up a bit and write it as y equals a over x plus 5. I don't need to rewrite that plus 0 there. Um, plug in my coordinate. I'm not really given a coordinate here. I'm just given the y-intercept. And that y-intercept there is written as 0, negative 2. So x is 0 and y is negative 2. And we substitute those, substitute those in there and solve for a. So y is negative 2. a is, I don't know yet, x is 0. And I add 5. Clean the bottom part up and get negative 2 equals a over 5. And to solve for a, I just multiply this side by 5, and I get negative 10. Substitute that back into my equation. Uh, put, let's put it back into the clean one up here, not the one with two negatives or plus 0. And I get y equals negative 10 over x plus 5. Finished.